Exactly, right outside my door. How's everybody doing today? trying to make this as interactive as possible. I do have to admit, it's a little bit difficult to have 30, 35 people in the room. I'm trying to be extremely, extremely quiet. It's a feat itself. So you're trying to comply, you're trying to do basically EVP sessions, like electronic voice phenomenon sessions. It's really difficult to see the shuffle. I'm trying to make this as interactive for everybody as possible. I apologize if it's not as interactive. So, this is a true experience with paranormal investigators. First of all, thanks for you and Oshkosh for having us here. Thank everyone you guys for being here too. Um, please save all questions for the end of the presentation. Um, at the end, we're going to have a, a QA. and a try to stay good to this as quick as possible. I'm going to give you guys as much information as my flight time is going to be. Greater Midwest Paranormal Research.
Been a group since 2006, which is actually kind of a, you know, six years, that's kind of a long time for a paranormal group, especially nowadays. Um, we have, I believe it's only three new members out of the original six. That's pretty good. Um, we keep you up, you're good, you do your job, let you help people, that's what we do. Uh, one of the leading paranormal groups in the Midwest. Now, I'm not going to throw that out there really nailing. We are, we're one of the leading ones. A lot of groups actually come to us asking us for advice, asking us to review the evidence for them, asking us to do stuff like this. We are partnered up with HauntedWisconsin.com, which is where a group that actually was able to find us. Um, we have branches out all over the place. We have branches out to Paranormal Cops. I don't know if you saw them on CNN, I think it was. Ron Fabiani, his crew. Yeah. advanced groups in the Midwest. And again, I'm not going to just throw that out there. I guess I try and toot my own horn. You see some of the equipment that's up here. That's fine. That's about 10% of what we have. Some of the stuff is experimental at the best. We're always trying to find new ways, either proof or disproof of some sort of paranormal experience. We've traveled all over the country. Not kidding. We've been all over the place. We've driven to Washington. Yes, on our own dime. Never took a single penny from this homeowner. She was absolutely frightened. It was one of those uh, emergency cases. And lucky enough, we would have uh, four of our group members and two members from another group being able to take this long road trip. It was 28 uh, no, it was, yeah, it was like 20, it was 28 like hours, 32 hours. 32 hours, 36 hours in the car. And she hit a soft spot with us when she said she had two kids. Her husband was in the army away on leave and she had an animal rescue. We all said, okay, we'll be there in about a week. Because we're all suckers and she was scared and she didn't have anywhere else to go. Now, we were boarding Washington and Louisville, Kentucky. We were invited down by, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky. You've heard of Waverly Hills. It's one of the top 10 most haunted locations in the United States, if not the world. And they're right. <laughs> no doubt about it. Some of the equipment that we have, I ran through some of them up here. We'll go through a little bit of this later on. That's just some of the stuff that we have up here is the cameras, full spectrum, schedule recorders. Um, and then we have a second page board as well. Rent pod, email pumps. We'll go through a little bit a little bit later. So some of the topics that we're going to be covering today, audio, for example, what are some of the devices, simple facts, the evidence takes uh, for doing the evidence and some of the audio clips that we've got. We're going to go through video, uh, video portions, uh, including the DVR system for the more in depth of that, transfers, review, cutting evidence, and then a little bit of unknown, a little bit of this, a little bit of that kind of thrown in here and there. Uh, most of what people don't really know too much about. Um, I have a couple of ladies that were up here asking about the sage. I want to get that a little bit more in depth as well. And uh, of course, Ouija boards and spirit boards. So paranormal. Webster's Dictionary defines paranormal as beyond the range of normal experience or scientific explanation. Okay, let's put it mildly. You can't explain. Does that make it paranormal? Not necessarily. Like I said, 90% of our cases are nothing paranormal related. Some of it are paranormal related. It'd be kind of freaky. Who in the group has had a paranormal experience by a show of hands? Okay, you raise your hands. <laughs> Christy and I have been having uh, paranormal experiences uh, since I was, I think I was eight when I had my first paranormal experience. I'm going to be 33 in a little bit here. This is my exact longest time ago, 16, 17 years worth. Well, think about it 16, 17 years ago. Who here would have felt comfortable talking about the paranormal? Nobody. So tabbing back then. Thankfully, we've had ghost hunters, we've had ghost adventures. I'm looking a little over dramatic, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of these. I mean, there's literally over 80 paranormal TV shows out there on regular cable today. That's awesome, especially for somebody like us. Um, 
who here has ever wanted to do something about that paranormal experience? Prove it. Disprove it. Answer a question. Let you know you're not crazy. Or a friend of yours who's saying she's having stuff going on in the house, they feel like they're going crazy. Do you feel bad? Do you always want to help those people? At least we do anyway. And that's why we started an investigation. So, doing something about it. Best way, perform your own EVP session. If you have an old audio recorder, most people have smartphones or phones that have some sort of a recording feature on them. Who has the uh, who has the old boom boxes, the cassette tapes with the big red button, the big black button, push 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 both of them together, try to record a song on the radio? Some of you are shaking your heads. I remember saying to myself, I wish this DJ would shut up so I can get the whole song. Never really happened, but that's okay. This is exactly what they do. Grab one of those. Grab your smartphone. Grab your regular phones. Grab one digital recorder that's kind of flying through around here. Grab an old stereo system. Grab something. Put an old tape in. Grab something. Hit record. Start asking questions. The best questions are the ones that pop into your head. The ones that, even if they don't make any sense. So the best questions to ask is something that's telling you ask those specific questions. Words of the trade, though. After you ask the question, count to ten. Slowly. One, one thousand, <laughs> two, one thousand, three, one thousand. When you first start, most investigators, do you know what year it is? What is your name? How old are you? And we're lucky if we get anything, and usually they're saying four off of the first question when they're already on to their twenty. So if you guys do do this, take time. I don't care if you feel like you're sitting there waiting forever. That's the best chance you're going to have to be hearing something or catching something. Um, also with the recorders that we send around, I mean, you can get them off the internet. Some of them, you, know, you can go all the way up to a thousand dollars, which are free, yep. that are wanted. They're hard to find. Otherwise, you can just go to Walmart and Walgreens and spend 20, 30, 40 bucks. So a lot of this equipment isn't expensive as a whole. Some of it is, some of it isn't. That's why you pick and choose what you want and how you want to do it. So audio. Audio is the most frequent form of evidence. Does anybody know why? When I'm talking to everybody in this room, my voice is bouncing off those walls, bouncing off those cabinets, off the floor, off the desk, rattling your eardrums. My voice is bouncing off a wall that I'm not even facing. Audio goes in every single direction. What about video? I got the video camera pointed up right now. I'm not even in the view right now. 